a My Bird Picks My Makeup video. Now this wasn't originally intended to be a My Bird Picks My Makeup video. I actually sat down to film myself unboxing an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It is the very first time I've ever bought any ABH cosmetics. I wanted to film my reaction on camera so I pulled the eyeshadow palette out of the box and Archie came stomping over and started trying to reach for it. And I thought to myself, you know what? This is a great opportunity to do my bird chooses my makeup. If you want to see how Archie helped me to choose this makeup look today, then uh, hang around and keep watching. I just received a parcel from Beautylish. So I'll just show you quickly what I got and then we'll get to the main point. So I finally got RCMA powder. I have never ever ever used this before, but for the past, uh, what, like 10 years, I've been seeing every beauty guru ever talking about this stuff. I can't believe I did this, guys. I just, I, maybe I wasn't in my right mind, I'm not sure, but I spent way too much money and I justified it by saying I haven't bought makeup in a very, very, very long time. And I bought these <laughs> Cover Effects Glitter Drops. And I got all three shades because I was very indecisive and I couldn't decide exactly which shade that I wanted. I sampled these in Sephora just a few days ago and I screamed. Like I, I was quite embarrassing actually. I put it on my hand and I went, ah! <laughs> because it was so pretty. But in Sephora in Australia, they're about maybe 80 or $90 for a bottle. So these on Beautylish, they were, can you hear that? That's Archie, I'm just gonna go get him. He's just having the time of his life in the shower. Are you gonna sit with me? Huh? How's that? Is that good? I thought they were the most amazing things ever when I tried them in store. They were much cheaper on Beautylish. So I decided to splurge. But that being said, the amount that I spent on these, I kind of feel like, am I ever going to actually justify using them? Because every time I put it on my face, I'll be like, mm, there goes $5. Okay, I also got some sugar pill lipsticks. I have never, ever, ever used sugar pill. This is, I think it's called the High Tea Collection. They look almost identical, all of them. But these shades are Crumpet, Dainty, Clink, Trifle and Duchess. Something else that I got that is just the tiniest, teeniest, teeniest, tiniest little bit controversial and I wasn't actually going to show it because I was just really, really worried about backlash. But that being said, I, I like, I always want to be open and honest with you guys. I don't want to lie or pretend that I don't do something that I do. So I bought my very first ever Jeffree Star cosmetic things. Never ever ever have I bought anything from Jeffree Star and I actually bought these because Tati had them sitting on her beauty dressing table and she pointed them out in one of her beauty room tours and she was like look at the beautiful packaging like see how it's pink and sparkly she was like I just keep these on the countertop because they're beautiful and I didn't know what brand it was like I just I saw them I saw the sparkly pink and I was like wow oh my god I need those they're so pretty. Anyway I saw someone getting a whole bunch of online because they talked about Jeffree Star Cosmetics and people were like, okay, well, uh, I'm understanding you because you support a racist. And I was like, what is this all about? So I looked it up and I mean, I'm sure you know, like there's, there's all of that drama. He's done things in the past. He has formally apologized. I don't know what else the man can possibly do to make amends for what he has said and done. And if people are like, no, he's canceled for the rest of my life because of what he did when he was younger. I mean, then that's your opinion. But I did get these because the packaging is like literally the prettiest thing that I have ever, ever, ever seen. So there's that. I also picked up something that I saw in a Nikki tutorials video the other day, and I'm really, really excited about this. Nikki posted this video, I wore foundation for 24 hours, and she went out and did a full 24 hour test. She didn't sleep, and she was trying this Becca foundation. So I thought to myself, I would really like to make a video where I copy Nikki exactly, and I do everything that Nikki did. I go on the same sort of lunch date as her, eat the same sort of food, go to a theme park, do everything that she did in her video. I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna see if it works for me because obviously people with different skin types, I'm sure that foundation would react differently. So it worked really, really well for Nikki. I don't know if it'll work well for me, but I think it would be a really, really fun video to make where I can go do exactly what she did. And it's almost like a I followed Nikki tutorials, tutorial video, but not quite. It's like I followed a Nikki tutorials 24 hour wear test. So I got that. That was way too expensive. Even if it does last 24 hours, I don't think it's gonna be worth the price because no one wears their makeup for 24 hours. 
I mean, you're probably going to be taking it off at night, so what's, what's, I guess, the whole point of being a 24-hour wear is just the fact that it proves that it's going to last no matter how long you want to wear it. This is my very, very, very first ever, no, that's a lie, my second ever Anastasia Beverly Hills purchase. So I got this Modern Renaissance palette and I got a dip brow in Auburn because, I mean, there's only ever been one eyebrow colour of my entire life that I've ever been able to wear and that is Max Redhead. So I'm hoping that this works for me because everyone on the internet talks about this stuff. I thought it was my first purchase and then I sat down and realised that the other day I actually bought these two uh, but I haven't opened them yet and I haven't used them and I got them at Sephora because Sephora was having a sale so I got both of those for the price of one whereas normally in Australia I think they're 70 or 80 dollars each I got both of them for 70 so that's why I bought those so I got all of these things at the same time so it's my first ever Anastasia Beverly Hills purchase I wasn't gonna record this but I thought I just want to record my reaction when I open this palette because people on the internet are always always talking about ABH cosmetics so I thought you know what, like for someone like me that's, oh my god, oh it's velvet! <laughs> for someone like me that's never bought one of these palettes before, I thought it would be, a, you know, fun to record my, my very, very, very first reaction. And Archie's reaction too. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Archie's ready. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, it's, uh, there's eyeshadow already kind of like spilt out of it around here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some little dots. And I, it looks as though it's come from this golden ochre, the golden ochre shade. I can see that it's kind of like broken a little bit there. The colours, I have never really used any warm colours like this before, ever. So I'm a little bit nervous, but also very excited. Archie is absolutely enthralled. Do you think this is a nice palette? I'm sorry that there's no green, but look, the palette has a birdie in it. Oh, there's a birdie in the palette, in the mirror. How did he get in there? <gasps> He's gone, sorry. Archie is uh, just here. His cage is directly next to my beauty desk. So, hi mate. He likes to sit there and then climb onto my shoulder and chew on my hair and stuff like that. You gonna be a good boy today? Can I have a kiss? Oh, what if we do a uh, my bird picks my makeup? I wonder if I can get him to choose my uh, shades of eyeshadow. Well. No chomp. I'm gonna put this plastic here to protect it. Which colour? Oh no no, I've got to put the plastic on. Which colour? Okay, so he wants me to use a base of burnt orange. Okay, that's very good. Let's turn the palette the other way and see what colour he chooses now. Okay, now which one? Red, oh! Red okra. He chose red okra. Okay. No no, come on, come back up here, come on. No. We're not done yet. You need to just come on choose another color. That's not enough What else? What other color? He's looking at red okra again Re What's that? Re real 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 gar? What is a real gar? Mate, no one last chance to choose Okay, which one? That one, love letter. Love letter, okay. All right, so we have four shades. I let him choose four. So he chose burnt orange, red okra, real gar, and love letter. Hmm, should I get him to cho choose some other things? You wanna choose something else? Okay, well fine. Um, which one should I wear? Which one? Oh, that one! That one! Santa Baby! Oh, okay, well we're going to wear Santa Baby. Santa Baby. So Archie has spoken. You can choose my foundation too while we're at it. I have four. So your choices today, Archie, are Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Peter Thomas Roth, Unwrinkle Foundation, MAC Studio Fix, and you've got a Maybelline Smooth Result. Which one? Oh no! What, hang on. What, you want, oh, what, hang on, make your final choice. Which one? Oh, oh, okay. You're out of frame. 
Okay, so he chose the Maybelline, so that's good. What else do I get him to choose? I, you wanna choose some blush? I do, I can let you choose blush if you like. So I'm just gonna pull out a couple of different brands that I have. I don't have very many, but these are brands that I have multiple shades of. Up here, you gotta sit up here, this is the spot. Come back to the spot. No, okay, fine. I'm gonna let him choose the brands and then I'll pull out all of the shades. So we have, no, relax, no, I gotta talk about them first. Come up here, come up here, up here, come on. So the first, I'm gonna let him choose MAC, Etude House, Daiso, or Scandal Colors. I got these in Korea. Okay, ready? Which one are you gonna choose? Which brand? And then you can choose the color. Archie. Which brand? Oh, Etude House. Oh. No, we're, we're just touching all of them, are we? Whoa, 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 okay, all right. Oh, yep. He's, uh... Broke it. It's okay, Archie. It's not completely. Oh, it is broken. You're a bugger. You are such a. This is a. Don't do this challenge. Do this challenge with a dog because dogs probably won't break things. Okay, so here's the three shades. Which one? Which one? Pick one. You gotta pick. Or you want that one? Don't drop it. That's, that's the one, right? That's the one you want? Yep, no, you can't have it. What else do we let him choose? Um, you've chosen lipstick, eyeshadow, foundation, blush, highlight. You want it? Disgusting. Disgusting. Now he can choose my highlight. I'll just take them all out. I have a Nars Co Copacabana. Stop it! Nars Copacabana. No, you gotta come up here so they can see you. Stop going off frame. You are so bad at this. There's a. This is Mecca. Enlightened, lit from within, illuminating balm. So they. I got this for free when I bought some stuff last time. The cult favorite, Mary Luminizer by the Balm, which is. Yeah, I, you better choose that one. There's also Born to Glow by NYX, and there's Girl Meets Pearl by, oh, who are you? Benefit. Hey, no, 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 no. You, what, you, you really want me to use that one, do you? Well, that's not fair. Come sit up here, come on. Up, 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 up. Here they all are. Oh, okay, we're gonna, we're using Copa, oh! He chose Copacabana. Alright, I don't really like using that one, but whatever he says. What are you doing? I guess he can choose brows as well. Okay, so I have four brow products now. I only had three before. The first one is Max Redhead. Archie, wait, come up here. Look, what's that? What's that? Then we've got, now that one suits me perfectly and I've, I've been using this for a while. I've also got one from Hourglass. Uh, this is in the shade Platinum Blonde. I'm not done, I'm not done, let go, let go. Let, no, no. Uh, that one's way too dark for me. Uh, I've also just got this Anastasia Beverly Hills in Auburn. And I also have this Etude House. Uh, but this isn't, this is natural brown and this is kind of meant to be like a, um, it's supposed to be a, like a gel, but I'll give it to him as an option. Okay, which one? Oh, Etude House, no. No, he really wants me to do hourglass, but that one's way too dark for me. Can I have that back? Give it back. Give it, give it back. Give it back. I understand. Yes, I'm going to use it. It's way too dark for me. And I, I really wanted to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but um, the bird has spoken. What else do you have to choose? Come back up. They can't see you. Come back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up the booty, back up the booty. Contour, contour. I have never really been that interested in contouring, but I do have a couple of options for him. 
Now, I, I do understand that most of these things aren't specifically contouring things. Only one of them is actually meant to be for contouring. The rest of them are just bronzer, I guess, but surely people can contour with bronzer, right? So I have a Benefit Dallas, a NYX matte bronzer, and I have a NYX Wonder Stick. Oh, we're going for Nick's oven. <laughs> Which one? Up. Oh, he's gone for Nick's Wonder Stick. Excellent. I'm glad that he chose that one because I didn't really want to use them. Well, he just dropped it and that came out. I'm beyond angry, but I would never express my anger to him because he's my baby. It's okay. I forgive you. Now he's got to choose eyeliner. I forgot. Eyeliner. Come back up here. Come on. Back up, back up, back up. See, that's the good thing about birds. Unlike the dogs where they have to put the little treats down or the cats where they have to dangle the nail polish over the railing, bird, he will actually choose. 100%. He will pick it up and choose it. I have a basket of eyeliner. Now in here we have I've got a Tony Molly, I have a Daiso, I have another Daiso, I have my Quick Flick, which I really hope he chooses because I can't do eyeliner without using the Quick Flick. I have the worst eyeliner in the world, this Lancome Grandiose. I have the Dior... Mate! Stop it! Stop! I have the Dior It line from my Daiso vs Dior video, and I have another Daiso. Oh, wait. And there's another Daiso too. Alright Archie, you ready? Which one? Yay! He chose the quick flick! What a good boy! What a good boy! You are such a good boy! You are the best boy! Yes! I think he knows that I use it every single day, so maybe that's why he chose it for me. Yes! Yes! What a good boy! Okay, can I have that? I need it. I, you need to let go. It's mine. I need. How can I do my makeup without it? <laughs> this isn't my bird does my makeup, it's my bird chooses my makeup. So if you don't know what the quick flick is, it's the easiest thing in the world. You can get it in three different sizes. I have all three. Eight millimeters, then there's ten millimeters, and then there's... 12 millimeters. I normally use the 12 mil because that's the biggest one and I like a really, really dramatic flick. I'm really, really happy that Archie chose that one today. He's also got to choose concealer for me. Uh, so his choices are, there's a few choices. I hope he doesn't choose Dermacol, but there's a Dermacol. There's a NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, Maybelline Mineral Powder, NARS, and a Revlon Color Stay. So, which one? Oh, he's chosen Maybelline. If you were a dog, you wouldn't be doing that right now. <sighs> okay, let me think. Uh, I'm not gonna let him choose primer because I only have one primer. Oh, actually, no, no, I do have a second one. Oh, you can choose, I have two. I have this one. This is a Japanese primer that I got from a store called Miniso. And then there's Smashbox Photo Finish. So, um, if you want to choose, you've got to come back to the choosing spot. Come on, back up here. Which one? Oh. Which one? That one. Did you just choose that because it was the closest one to you? Don't put a hole in it. Hey, hey! Good job, Archie. Look at that. Now what am I gonna do? Don't do this challenge with birds. Just, just don't. All right, well, that's a good place to start if I just wipe that off there and now I'm gonna have to tape up that hole because bastard bird over here has done a heck. Forgive me, I'm not a makeup person. I'm a bird owner that tries on clothes. So I don't know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to the technical side of makeup. I just kind of do it and hope for the best. So. If you notice anything in my routine and you think, what, why did she do it that way? Or that is false, that is wrong. What do you mean that you put powders and creams together? Stop. 
I guess you can leave a comment below and tell me and maybe I can learn something. Don't be rude. Being rude won't get you anywhere in life. Be positive, be constructive. Calling me a, an ugly redhead isn't constructive criticism. The amount of times that I get comments like that and people are like, look at you and your stupid bird and your ugly nose. Psh! And I'll be like, huh, can you go away? And they're like, mm, you need to learn to take criticism. <laughs> Righto. Archie chose this Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind. Now this is not my shade. This is shade number two, Ivory. I stole this from my mum. She has very, very slightly darker skin than I do. Archie keeps disappearing off the frame, so I just have to kind of like tempt him back up. Actually, <gasps> I picked out this brush, right? But maybe I should let Archie choose the brush. Hey, let, let go, let go, let go, let go. Which one? Which one? Oh, that one. Can you take it out? Can I have it? He's uh, holding onto it for me. So this is a Ellen R04. That's the brand. I think it says Ellen. They just turned up out of nowhere one day. I have absolutely no idea how they got my address. They're actually really, really, really nice brushes. So now this is definitely not my shade, but Archie has spoken. If this is your first time watching my channel uh, and you're a bit confused by the green bird, the green bird is in all of my videos. Not just my bird does my makeup, he is in every single one of my videos. So if you like this bird and you like this video, maybe check out some of my others. You might find something that you like. I, mo I usually just do clothing uh, because it doesn't require any talent at all to try on clothes and tell people if they're nice or not. It does require talent to do makeup though, hence why this is my very, very, very first makeup video ever because I have no talent at all. But I've been practicing pretty hard and attempting to get better because I would love to make makeup videos. If you like this makeup video and you would like me to do some more, I actually think every single makeup video that I ever put up will be My Bird Chooses My Makeup because I can't do anything in my life without Archie interrupting and giving his input. So, uh, there's that. What's going on? What's that? What's that? What's that? What next? Concealer. So Archie chose the Maybelline Mineral Powder. Oh, he also chose Maybelline Foundation. Archie, you got a brand deal going on, mate. Maybirdline. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, I'll show you a fun trick. Hey Christine, can Menchie do this? Okay, Archie, this is the one that you chose, right? Yeah? Now this shade is light number two to three. Am I doing this wrong? Probably. Some here. Archie, you're making this very difficult. Some here. Some on my nose. And then maybe a bit more here because I don't sleep and the bags are very, very dark. Beautiful. All right, Archie. No, it's gone now. It's blending time. Oh, now Archie's checking himself out in my mirror. How am I meant to see myself if you're looking? Okay, well, I actually can't see in the mirror at all. If you break that, I swear, no almonds for a week. No. Stop it. It's almost blended in. I just, just give me just five seconds, please. Just five seconds, Archie. No. No. I, I just need five seconds to finish. Uh, I didn't ask him to choose a setting powder. So the only setting powders that I've been using up until today, seeing as I bought that RCMA thing, I use either a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish or this is a Holika Holika. Holika Holika is a Korean brand. Can't pick that one up. <laughs> and now there's the RCMA. So let's give Archie the option. What am I gonna use to set my eyes? Have you, which one? Oh, he wants me to use Mac. Don't drop that, I swear to God, if you, no, 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 no. No RCMA today then. And I just take a big brush. This is again by that random stalker brand that somehow mailed me. 
Am I doing this wrong? Please tell me. Contouring now with my, this is really, really nice. I love this NYX Wonder Stick. And I've been told that all the Kim Kardashian West contour sticks are basically just this, but less product. Okay, I'm gonna dab, 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 make yourself fab. I just want to use my handheld mirror, but he just keeps coming and trying to break it. Oh, look, he's back. Sorry, not for you. Okay, so we're contoured. I don't know how well it's blended because I can't really use my handheld mirror without Archie breaking pieces off it. I'll just give Archie a couple of brushes he can choose from for my blush. I don't even know. One of them's pink, I got it from Claire's. One of them's a Sigma Round Top Kabuki. One of them's just like a no brand. He can choose one of them. Which one? Oh, the pink one, good choice. That's a very good choice, but I'm going to need it back now. This is just from Daiso. The way that the Japanese write English, they use katakana. So it says rozu, rose. This is in the shade rose. So ooh, did give it a swirl. And these are quite pigmented for something that only cost me $1.90. Is that correct? I don't know. Is it too pink? Probably. Archie, please, stop. Stop, you're so bad. You are just such a bad bird. Go sit there. I'll often take my MAC Skin Finish Mineralizing thing and just kind of very, very, very lightly go over the top of the blush just to kind of like dial it down just a little bit because I can sometimes go overboard. And then the NARS Copacabana, that's what Archie chose. Now, I used to watch makeup tutorials a lot when I was like 16, 17, 18, and I stopped watching them for a few years. But I did race to a shop and spend an atrocious amount of money on this because some beauty guru told me to, and I hate it. I hate it. And I was so mad. I was like, Blair, you lied to me. Whoever it was. I can't remember if it was Blair or what, but whoever it was, I was like, you lied to me. This is awful. I mean, I don't know if I just got a crappy version of the product or what, but I just find that it makes, like, I think that you're meant to just directly apply it, right? But not very much comes off when you swatch, like hardly anything at all. So when I wipe it over my cheekbone, nothing really comes off, so I have to really get in there, and then I find that it removes my foundation. <laughs> we'll still use it because Archie said so. Please don't destroy that. Can't, give it to me. Give it to me. It, uh, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow. Nothing's coming off. Maybe like a tiny bit here and a tiny bit there. Look, I, I mean, it's, it's not particularly brilliant, but I think this came out well before the whole blinding highlight trend. So it's just like a... I just caught that in mid-air. Archie, what have you done? What is that? What is that? So I'm just going to use a beauty blender just to kind of pack it in a little bit. Sorry, a beauty, uh, a blending sponge. I know people get very defensive of Beauty Blender and they're like, excuse me, that's not Beauty Blender branded. Kind of like a dewy kind of highlight. It's all right. I mean, not, not the best decision you've ever made. Time for the eyes. So I'll start with eyebrows. Now he chose this one, which I'm very, very sad about. I trusted an employee at Mecca. I went in there and I was like, please help me, I need help with my brows because up until about four months ago, I never ever ever touched my brows ever with anything. I didn't wax them, I didn't color them, I didn't draw on them, I didn't do anything. But I started posting videos maybe like five months ago or whatever it was and people were like, girl, you need to fix them brows if you're gonna be on YouTube. So I went into a shop and I was like, hello, I need brow products, I need brow help, please. And then she gave me this hourglass in Platinum Blonde. Makes sense. Platinum Blonde. I used this for about a week and I was like, this is ridiculous. Archie, please! I was like, this is just not my shade. So then I went to MAC and then she gave me a shade called Redhead and I wish Archie had chosen that. What are you doing? Again, if you're new here, he does talk. You watch, if I go put him in the bathroom, 
He loves being in the bathroom because he can hear himself. You, you watch, listen. Did you hear that? He said peekaboo. He'll come flying back in here in a second. But it gives me just enough time to do my brows. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <gasps> He's flying around. Archie, peekaboo. See what I mean? It's like way too dark for me. Uh oh. He's back. Am I doing my brows wrong? Please tell me. I had hoped I would be able to do my brows in peace without Archie coming, but I guess not. This is not just playing it up for the video. This is me literally every single morning ever when I try to do my makeup, this is what Archie does. Every morning. And for anyone that wants to leave a comment and say, well, why don't you just lock the bird up or put it in another room? You know, birds are not toys. Uh, it's not something that you just put away when you're bored of it or when it's annoying you or you know when you think that you're done playing with it, you don't just pack it up and put it in a box somewhere. A bird is a very highly emotional animal. They have the intellectual capabilities of, depending on the size of the parrot, some of these bigger parrots, that they are literally as smart as like a one or two year old or even three year old child. And that's scientifically proven. They can solve complex puzzles. They have emotional intelligence. Like, birds are not dumb animals. So you don't just chuck them in another room if you are bored of it or tired of it. If I do put him in the bathroom, I don't close the door. I put him up on the door of the shower and he will sit there and sing. But when he's done in there and he's tired of it, he's welcome to fly out. So, I mean, every day of my life I try to do my makeup with this bird chewing on my fingers and I wouldn't change it for the world because I love him and he loves me. Oh my gosh, my brows are so uneven. Thanks, Archie. This is your fault. You chose a bad colour and now you won't let me put it on properly. I'm just gonna stand up and lean in really, really close to the big mirror over there and try to fix this. Uh, Archie, can you, can you let go? Let, let go. Look, you, how about you just sit in front of the camera for a minute? don't like this colour and I've drawn them on too thick because I find that this applicator, it's not very precise because you can't sharpen it. This is your doing. This is all your fault. So I can blame it on the bird. I can pretend I actually have skill and the only reason that it doesn't look good is because of the bird. I swear it's got nothing to do with me. I'm very talented. It's just his fault. Off you get. No, no, no. Oh, okay. You want to hold it for me, do you? Oh, this is not a perch! He's just taking the concealer back to his cage. Can I have it back? Thank you. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine, there you go, take it. Okay, now it is on with the eye look. Oh, I'm really nervous now. <laughs> what are you doing? He's telling me I've got a pimple here, I know. We're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So from memory, Archie chose Burnt Orange, Red Okra, Real Gar. Is that meant to say regular? <laughs> Why does it say Real Gar? I don't know. 
and Love Letter. So looking at these colours, I'm thinking the burnt orange will be the base. Yeah, what I'll do, I'll put burnt orange down as a base, then I'll put this regular real gar. Real gar I will put on the crease and then I will deepen it with red okra and then I will put love letter. I will cut the crease and then use love letter. Um, can, can you pick one other? He's still going for red okra, okay. What am I going to use as a highlight? What am I gonna use? Oh, Vermeer. He just pointed at Vermeer. Okay, good, because that's a good highlighting shade. What a good boy. Yes, you're a beauty guru. Mwah. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Should I get him to pick what makeup brushes I use too? <laughs> All right, Artie, I'm going in on the base. What should I use? That is an angled brush. That is for eyebrows. Uh, yeah, that's a good choice. Pick it out, come on, take it, take it, take it out. Thank you. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use. No, you're gonna break it. Let go, let go. These are all clean, by the way. Uh, this is just, it's literally just called a Natio eyeshadow brush. So um, that's what we're gonna use for the base. Okay, I don't want him to come anywhere near the palette because this was way too expensive. And also birdies aren't meant to consume eyeshadow. So what if I give him something else to chew on? I'll give him an almond. Look. Okay, so quickly while he's eating, I'll go in with burnt orange all over the lid. <gasps> oh my God. I just like went for it. Can you see all of the kickback or whatever they call that fallout? Wow, I just, silly me. I just like whacked it and all of that happened. Okay, wow. This is pigmented. This isn't the best brush for this Archie. Uh, you could have done a little bit better. You know, I've never really used any expensive makeup ever. Most of my eyeshadow cost me no more than five or ten dollars. The most expensive eyeshadow I've used in my entire life is some MAC eyeshadow that I bought years and years ago and I still have it. I literally bought it ten years ago and I've used it so infrequently that it's still good. I know half of you guys are gonna be like, Alex, throw that in the bin. But seriously, I got this ten years ago. Look at that. Look how pristine these things are. Because I use it so, so rarely, there's been no growth on it, no real sort of bacteria that I know of. It's never irritated my eyes. I've kept it so incredibly clean. I've only ever used a brand new clean makeup brush on it and it's still going strong after 10 years. I know you're meant to throw stuff out after the expiry date, but honestly, I paid way too much money for that stuff to just throw in the bin. So uh, yeah, there's that. Can you just, I need to give him something to chew on. Here you go, you can chew on that again. If that's really that entertaining for you. Archie, I'm almost, almost done. Now he's gonna do my hair for me while I do my makeup. Okay, so my very, very, very first ever Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow, my very, very, very first impression is it was very pigmented and it was very easy to blend. Uh, it seems like a nice shade that didn't have any fallout around here, but I did have a lot of kickback in the palette. Listen to me, guys. I'm an expert. Tati is quaking. The next shade that I'm gonna use is this Real Gar. Pick another brush. What am I gonna use for Real Gar? No, that's too small. I can't use that. I literally cannot use it. Archie, that is a pencil. That's a pencil, that's for eyeliner. Pick something else. No, 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 I'm not gonna, no. Fine, fine, I'll use it. What, this is literally for like eyeliner. <laughs> so he wants me to use that when I go in with this real gar shade. Go away. Look, what's that? Is that interesting? Does this entertain you? Quick, that'll buy me just enough time to screw this up. So because he's asked me to use a pencil brush, I think I might, like, you, oh, okay, I'm gonna use it to like outline, like this. Oh, no. Look, I'm just gonna move away. I'm just gonna sit over here. You know, the hardest part of this is gonna be when I go to edit this footage, there's gonna be three hours of footage because this is taking me so long. No, don't you want it? This is expensive. 
Okay, I can give him, you're allowed to have one more almond. One, just one, because then that's, that's your limit for the day. The next shade that he asked me to use was red okra. Hopefully he chooses a fluffy blending brush this time. Okay, fluffy, br fluffy. Yes, good boy, good boy. Pick, you, you gotta pick it out before I use it. No, no, not that one, no. No, no, not that one. Please, not that one. Ow. Okay, I need it. I need it. No, 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 no. You can't do my makeup. You cannot do my makeup. No. So he's chosen this kind of like, what would you call it? I don't even know, what is this called? This is called a flat packing brush, I suppose. Look at this, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, this is unacceptable. This behavior is unacceptable and I've caught it on camera. I'm gonna embarrass you at your 18th birthday party, Archie. I'm gonna bring this out. I'm gonna show them, look what he did when he was young. Look how he used to act when he was a kid. Archie is uh, a, a year and a half or, yeah, he's a year and a half. He is such a child. You know what? Okay, Archie, you, you hold on to that. We're gonna dip into red okra. What have I done? This was a bad idea. This was a really, really bad idea. <laughs> Archie, can you hold still? I think he's done. Are you done? Can I, can I have it back? Let's see if I can save this situation. No, no, you're done. You're done. No more. Archie, I can't see. I can't see. You're in my way. This is a very pretty color. I really like it. I can see why this modern Renaissance palette is so popular. The only real eyeshadow colors that I've been using for the past few years uh, is just like, like an apricot pink. That's basically all I really do. It's only been, ow, work. Working with this really trying to blend it out. I'm kind of getting somewhere. All I'm gonna be doing for the next 10 minutes is blending and fighting the bird and blending and fighting the bird. So I'm gonna do the other eye too with this red ochre color and blend as much as I possibly can and then we'll report back. I mean, as much as I'm sure you guys wanna watch me fighting Archie for half an hour, <laughs> I don't want this video to be three days long. So uh, I'll, I'll be back soon. We'll be back soon, yes. Man, it took me so long. I think I've been going at that for like 15 minutes, just trying to get it even. And I can still see some- I can still see some patchiness. So I'm not entirely sure if it's just my fault or if it's something to do with the eyeshadow. So if you've experienced that before with that color, let me know. Or if you, if you find that that color works perfectly, then uh, feel free to insult me down below. So the next color that he wanted was Love Letter. He chose that one. Uh, and he's going for it again, so he obviously really likes it. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut the crease. And now I don't know if I should cut the crease in the middle, or should I cut the crease from the outside to the center, or should I start in the center? So Archie, can you tell me where to cut the crease from? That's, that's my mouth, try again. Where should I cut the crease? Where should I cut it? Oh, he's uh, licking the center of my eyelid. We're gonna cut the center of the crease. So I'm gonna use that same... Why do you like it so much? You are sponsored, aren't you? You're sponsored by Maybelline. You know you gotta disclose that. Can you say add? Add? Sponsored? You're not? If you're not, why are you promoting this so much, hmm? Suspicious. No, I've only, within the last week, worked out how to cut the crease. I, it's something that I never, ever, ever did in the past. And the couple of times that I tried it, I just, I literally could not do it. It was a, a hot mess. But I've just been watching a lot of tutorials and I think I've kind of got the hang of it now. So I'm gonna give it a go. But it is really, really tedious. 
And Archie is definitely not going to help. I, I know he's not going to help. So can you sit there? Archie, just stay there. Stay there. Don't touch it. No, no, no. No licky licky. No licky licky. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. So I might actually just have to do this off camera. Say bye. Bye bye. Do you hear that siren? That's the beauty police coming for this cut crease. <laughs> it is so bad. But like I said, I'm still learning. So what I'm gonna do is take Love Letter and I'm gonna put it on either side of the cut crease and then I'm going to use that lighter shade that he chose, Vermeer, to go right in the center. I think I'll need him to choose a couple more brushes for me. Mate, brush time. That's a great choice. That is an excellent choice. Just don't destroy it, please. I'm sorry, you were gonna chew it. Okay, so he's chosen this MAC 222. This is a fluffy brush and I love this brush. I've been using this for 10 years. I love it. Just tap, tap, tap. No, 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 please no. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have an anxiety attack. So I've just taken a very, very, very light dab of it and tap off the excess, and I'm gonna put this on the outer corner and the inner corner. Wow, what a nice shade. And I hardly had to put any pressure into the palette to get it onto the brush either. It's very highly pigmented. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going in and darkening up the edges of this cut crease. Okay, this might take a while, so uh, I'll be back. The color is on. I've put it on the outsides. I kind of had to fight with it a little bit. I don't know if it blends it out that well. But anyway, we're gonna go in now with this Vermeer, which is the lighter shade that he picked. So I'll get him to pick a brush. What am I gonna use for this light shade to pack on? No, not that one. Please don't choose that one or that one. That is a bad idea. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Go on. If you're gonna pick it, pick it. If you're gonna pick it, pick it. Good boy! Now don't destroy it. Thank you. So he's chosen this kind of like flat brush here. So I'll just use that to pack Vermeer on the lid. And he's coming in to investigate, but he's not allowed anywhere near the expensive palette. Nope, not for birdies. Hmm, there's not a hell of a lot of color coming off with this one. Maybe I should be using like a, a wet brush. Um, See, this is something I don't know very much about. I don't know much about using, are they called foil shadows? I think where you're supposed to wet the brush and then put the product on. I know nothing about that. Like, I don't know when it's appropriate to do that. And to me, I almost feel like if you wet your brush and then you dip into a palette, wouldn't that like ruin the eyeshadow in the palette? Wouldn't it leave some sort of wet layer and then it would go funny? I don't, I don't know, is that, is that a thing? Good brush choice, Archie, this is working pretty well. Here, why don't you sit on the mirror? Wanna sit on the mirror? Sit on the mirror. No, 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 no. You're not, we're not doing this again. You, no. The next thing that we gotta do is put on some eyeliner. So like I said, Archie chose the quick flick. Now, I do love the quick flick, especially because it really helps you get well, okay, so it's got two sides. It's got a pointed felt tip like that for drawing the eyeliner. It's got this, which is basically just a flick. So it's got a left flick and a right flick. He just loves to sabotage my eyeliner, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. If the quick flick still works, even with the bird, you'll know it's the, the best eyeliner solution in the world. This is my 12 millimeter, so all I do is because I have really extremely hooded eyelids, here, yeah, you can chew on the lid, that's fine. So my eyelids are so hooded, so I just look straight on at the mirror like this. And I like to, I mean, I know you're supposed to sort of follow the line of your lower lash, you know, of your lower eyelid, you're kind of supposed to follow that line. But if I do that, it ends up all crinkly because of the shape of my eyelid. So I kind of go a little bit lower than that. And you just stamp. Here we go. Easy. <laughs> so that's that side. Can I have that back? Gotta put the lid on. No, no, not for you, no. Okay, fine, fine. Only children, they, they get their way. Spoiled only child. Same thing, just gonna look straight ahead at the mirror. Here 
Okay. Easy. <laughs> so yeah, you open up the other side of the quick flick and then it's got the felt pen. Go up there. Quick. I just keep putting him up on his cage. Okay, quick. Okay, sorry mate, you missed out, I'm done. Too fast for you, eyeliner is done. So the next thing Archie has to choose is mascara. I have a few, uh, he's really eager. Which one are you gonna pick Archie? I hope he chooses the better than sex because it's green and he loves the color green. No, don't choose that, I, no don't choose, no I hate that. Can you choose again? No, I hate that one too. You pick something else? No, I, I actually hate that one. No, cho can you choose the better than sex? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Pick the better than sex. No, don't pick that one. No, that's a bad one. Archie, Archie. Yes. Yeah, that one. No, 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 not that one. No, not that one. You have to pick it up, otherwise it doesn't count. No, no, no. Yeah, that one's okay too. It's not time to preen, it's time to choose mascara. Yes, I like that one. And I, I don't like that one. No, that one's bad too. Just pick it up, pick it up, pick it. Good boy, thank you. I'm very proud of my son. I'll just curl my lashes. This is a mini so eyelash curler. I love it, it cost me $2. It's my favorite eyelash curler. Archie has chosen the Rimmel London Extreme Black Volume Colorist. I actually got this for free. I went to a fashion show and they gave the influencers little gift bags and this was in the gift bag. And it's actually become one of my favorite mascaras. No, let go. No, 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 no. Go up there, go up there. Oh, quickly, you gotta work fast, quickly. Okay, I was moving a tiny little bit too fast and I have flicked mascara up onto my eyelid. Uh, mate, can you go away? Go up there. Go up there. Go on, go up there. It's all starting to come together now. And then we just have to do lashes and put on the lipstick and then we're done. So now Archie has the very, very difficult job of choosing which lashes that I'm going to wear. So my selection isn't that great. Uh, I've only just literally last week worked out how to apply lashes. I was doing it wrong my entire life. Like literally for years, every time I tried to put them on, they would fall straight off. I wasn't waiting for the glue to dry. So last week, I watched a tutorial and the girl was like, make sure that you wait 30 seconds for the glue to dry. Years, years it took me to figure that one out. But now I know how to put them on. I have these from Daiso. I don't even know where they're from. These, where did I buy these? Kmart. They're from Kmart. I have no idea where they're from. Which one? Are you choosing that just because it's closest to you? No, you're not. Okay, all right, fine. Whoa. Okay, so Archie wants me to use these ones. Show them what they look like. So they've got little like diamantes sort of. Archie, no, hold still. No, you're breaking it. How are they supposed to see the diamantes? Hold still. See, there we go.
I think Archie's lost interest now. He's just sitting on top of his cage doing nothing. He's just preening himself. I think he's finally, finally bored. That only took two hours for him to get tired of what I was doing. I used to just put the glue on and then be like, okay, now you're meant to wait. I would just look at it for a few seconds and then say, okay, I waited. And then I would put it on and they would just fall off straight away. And I would just keep trying and trying and trying. Waiting. Nude. I love how he, he's just completely lost interest now. I've got 30 seconds to fill in. You could come down and hang out. No? Yeah, not interested. I wish he had chosen a lighter shade for my eyebrows. I wish he'd chosen MAC Redhead because I just, ugh, I feel so weird with these really dark brows. I don't like it. You know what? Maybe he's lost interest because he realizes that his work here is done. The eyelashes were the last thing that he had to choose. He chose the lipstick at the start, so... What a smart boy. Let's see if I stuff it up on camera. Okay, so I've got that one on. I don't like these lashes. They're kind of... They're really like spidery. See how they're kind of like weirdly spidery? I don't really like that. I like it when they're really, really full, but Archie has spoken. He wanted them like this, so uh, whatever my baby boy wants, he'll get. Uh-oh. Oh my God, you guys, you won't believe this. <laughs> as soon as I said that. Oh, he started coming down, he's like, Whatever I want, I get. Do I get Armit? <laughs> oh no. I have one more eyelash to put on. Just one more. And then we're done. And then we can have some lunch. No! We are so close to the end. So close. You are a good boy. Yeah. You're also a bad boy. He's the best bad boy in the world. My little bird. Can I have a kiss? Just one. Just a quick kiss. I think that's probably long enough for the lashes. Not there. He's hoping I don't stuff the last thing up. Now I know a lot of people put mascara on the fake lashes as well as their own lashes to combine them but I'm not at that level yet. I don't really want to do that because one, won't the lashes get really really messy and also two, last time that I tried to do that I just pulled the whole eyelash off. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave them like this. I'm not the biggest fan. They are very very spidery and I'm not such a fan of that but it's what you wanted. <laughs> Okay, lipstick. I never line my lips, mostly because I don't really have any lips to line. I mean, there's, there's really not that much there. Uh, and also I always find whenever I line my lips, it just gets really messy and I just don't like it. So don't crucify me. But anyway, so we're using this Santa Baby, the very, very, very first time I've ever used a product by Jeffree Star. <gasps> wow, it's so dark. I'm a little bit scared. I never use liquid lipstick ever. I always just use like normal lipstick. Do I wipe some off? I don't know. <gasps> so dark! <laughs> Rude. Oh my gosh. It's really lightweight. No, Archie. No, go away. Well, as Sophia would say, the butthole coverage is very good. Okay, I'll go in again because it seems a little bit patchy the first time. Okay, there it is. <laughs> My first time using a Jeffree Star liquid lip. It does actually seem like it's got a different kind of consistency to other liquid lips that I have used in the past. I haven't used very many, but it feels really, really lightweight, but also it's kind of pilling. Does that make sense? You know how fabric kind of pills? It's kind of got like funny sort of sections where it's like balling up. It's really weird. So I'll just take some more of that cream concealer that Archie absolutely loves. Archie's making a beeline 
he's like going frantic. I think I only need to clean up the bottom. I think I did the top really neatly. Okay, well that's it. We're done. I don't believe it. So I guess let's uh, brush my hair and then kind of like do one of those mm, beauty guru montages. Well, Archie, I think you did a pretty good job. I think you chose well. What do you think? It's not so sure about this lipstick, huh? You're second guessing. You think, oh, it's a little bit too dark. Probably shouldn't have chosen that one. <laughs> All right, guys, well, this is the final look. I think Archie did a pretty good job. I think he chose well. It's much darker than anything that I would normally wear. The eyebrows are way darker, the lips way darker. But, you know, when you have someone else choose your makeup for you, I guess you can expect that they're gonna take you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's everything. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you want me to do more makeup videos, please let me know because this is like very, very terrifying for me and I'm still learning. If you have any advice for me, maybe you saw me do something wrong, please tell me down below. I really want to learn and I want to get better. If you want to join Archie and I on some more adventures, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!